drilling operation drill at 10 mm or 13 mm or 16 mm diameter holes at 100 to 500 mm intervals along the side of the crack or joints at 45 degree angle in order that the path of the crack or joint intersect in the center of the concrete slab or wall. The distance between the holes will depend on the size of the crack or joint to be injected. Remove dirt and debris from the foundation crack. Before injecting the epoxy, dirt will be cleared with a wire brush from the crack. Seating the epoxy injection ports in place. Seat injection ports along the length of the crack and the epoxy injection process. Okay. Epoxy crack injections are typically performed at a lower injection pressures, 20 to 200 PSI, and with surface mounted forts. Crack injection is often performed at the higher pressures to move the expanding foam through the cracks with special injection pumps and packers installed into the drilled holes. Continue to slowly inject material into the port until the low viscosity epoxy starts to emerge from the next port directly above. Remove the mixing nozzle from the first port. Place the cap on the port and insert the mixing nozzle into the second surface port from which the epoxy has just emerged. After allowing the epoxy to cure inside the crack, the surface ports can now be knocked off with a hammer or ground off with a grinder and abrasive disc. The paste epoxy that was used to seal the crack can now be ground plus with the surface of the concrete. The repair is now made. It can be left as is or aesthetically pleasing treatment can be applied over the repair area.